Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good evening and good afternoon. Good morning from wherever you are watching us. This is Met TV. And as you know, we bring you all the happenings around the world. And also, we bring you the necessary analysis anytime we need to let you know. Today, we are looking at Sir Cordia's new song, which was released today, Coachella. You know, I must say that Coachella from South Korea is a masterstroke. You know, I can see something from the album. The album is no pressure. The album here is about to drop. And he begins off with no fugazi. And no fugazi, you know, you understand what it means. And the kind of lyrics he used in the song. He was trying to, you know, let people who live big, who enjoy themselves a lot, relate to as a result of the things he mentioned in the song. Now he drops off with another one, which is Coachella. We all know Coachella to be a very huge music and you know art festival in California, which is in the United States. It's a very big, 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 big festival. And you know, if there is no pressure on you, you go to Coachella or you go and party. At times, even if there are a lot of pressures on you, you go to parties and pressure to take off the pressure so that there is no pressure. So if you look at the kind of song, the themes on the song and the title of the album, it seems Sarkozy is driving us to something. He's driving us and gradually we will get to you know the end of where he's driving us to. And, and I think that is a very good mark of, of, of somebody who knows his style. And also one good thing about albums, it allows people to sing on themes. It allows people to tell a certain story and also show their other side. Now, let's come to this very particular song. If you listen to the beat, oh my goodness, big ups to the producer, M-O-G beat. M-O-G, M-O-G. You know, he's a super producer, you know, lovely instrumentals. If you listen to the instrumentals, you know, it has beautiful bridges and breaks. And that, when you are a rapper and you want to choose a beat, you have to be very skeptical. Just don't rap on any beat. You need to be choosy. If you listen to the beat, there are a lot of bridges, there are a lot of breaks, there are a lot of punches. And that allows a rapper to flow and to be able to switch the styles in one, you know, in, 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 in his bass delivery. If you listen to the song, that is what Sakura actually did. He wrote on a very good beat with a lot of bridges, breaks, and he was able to, you know, show his artistry on the song. That is a masterful piece, Coachella there by uh, Sakura. You know, the dexterity. Look at how he entered the song. If you've not listened, go listen to the song. Listen to how Sakura entered the song. And that is a mark of a good rapper. How you you come in onto the beat as, as something you don't need to play with. And he came in very strongly to prove that indeed he is the king of rap. And aside that, if you listen to the Rhymes King, the Rhymes Kings are very top notch. And the way Sir could they play with words. You know, if you're a rapper and you want your rap to be able to attract people, you want people to listen to your rap without getting tired. You need to know how to play with words. And that is one thing he did very well on this song, Coachella. He was able to play with words, word play. Play with words on the song. One of the so lines that I like very well, where he said, um, I saw it at the end, I will sit in the song. You know, and that's how I've been done in chain. Now I am saying, we're shaking on Kakura, we're shaking a little, you know. It's very deep, adult content. But he said, in, he said it in a very nice format that if you are not too deep, it will be difficult for you to, you know, decode what message Sakura wanted to put across. You know, aside that, I think how the song was released, where he linked up with so many programs of radio stations today, based in Ghana and outside the country and even in Kumasi among others, show that indeed Sakura understand PR and Sir Korea knows his stuff. You know, I want to recommend Coachella from Sir Korea to everyone. Go download, stream the song, you know, share with friends, let them know that indeed the king of rap has dropped. 
Let's Go Coachella. That is a wonderful song by all standard. And Quisiata also did something fantastic with, with, with the chorus, you know, and the using of that John Darko, you know, bars or phrase or dark color, we've been sharing it on dark color. But I just believe that Sad Kodier and his management have done the right thing by going to talk to George Darko, the legendary George, George Darko, and Adjikut, who was the producer of the song. I know by now they have sorted out every differences so that there wouldn't be any copyright infringements and claims. You know, aside of everything, I think Sad Kodier knows his stuff. He knows his rap game. And I tell you, it's going to go, 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 go more higher. Charlie, big shout to you know, Sack Natives and everyone. Coachella is out there. Treatment, let's make noise about it. <laughs>